I planned so badly for this. <laughs> So guys, today I'm getting my hair done. I'm so, so, so excited. The hair color that I do want to do, I'm still confused about it. I want to do like a light brown hair with a... I want to do like this. Like a light brown, but with the undertones of auburn. And that is so confusing because I sent this picture and this picture and this picture to my friend. And my friend and they're all like kind of different in a way and I'm just like I don't know as well what I want so how will she know I always kind of find myself in these situations like I need to learn how to manage my time better I woke up early so I was like I have so much time I can wash dishes I can clean my room and now I'm left with poor lighting because I'm trying to hurry up I'm almost ready I'm super super excited I'm I'm just like really risking this because I don't even know what I want to be honest a look change basically that right before I leave to Tulum but the thing is I did that before I left to Cancun in August October and it was super frizzy like in every video I have my hair is like puffy Also, I forgot a lot of my hair products when I go on vacation. I forget a lot of things I always forget my hair products because I tell myself I'm gonna straighten my hair the entire trip So I don't need my like curly girl Products and then I get really lazy on vacation and I'm like, I'm just gonna pull off my natural hair <laughs> Theme. low key like this is something i was going for like, like the I auburn yeah well, undertone or what would you say because i really don't i don't have any idea like, yours is more yours is lighter it's like neutral one that's the color that i picked and then mine is what copper brown oh these, <laughs> these <laughs> names <laughs> Like, I had no idea. I was just like, I like this, but I don't know what it's called. I know, and then all of Bianca's pictures. Not, not, all, not all her pictures look hella This is the final look. It's so cute. I've never ever had like a reddish tinted hair. So this is so new to me. Thank you, Jessica. Here's her Instagram. If you're in Seattle, go to her. We're kind of twins, kind of. I don't know about that. But she's really mastered the copper, the copper bomb look. This is what I wanted. She knew. Hey guys, ignore the child seat, it's a long story. So this is how my hair turned out. I don't think you guys can see the full effect in the lighting I was in just because it was already nighttime. But just look at how cute my hair is. I love it for Tulum especially. That's where we're gonna be going. But I've always, always wanted to go there for my birthday. And not even only for my birthday, but because of the pyramids. So we're finally going and I'm so super excited. But now we're gonna go get my eyelashes done and my nails done. lady did so good i honestly wanted to cry at first because they use curl tip on me and i don't like curl tips at all i always use c curl tips this is the difference and the difference is just that when you use c curl tips usually excuse my little like right here usually it's like this and it's so ugly and that's how it was and i was like oh my god they're gonna look like dinosaur nails i was holding myself back from saying can you please just remove the tips i don't want to do this anymore i was just like trust the process put your trust in her okay bianca and i was like okay i'm gonna chill and the universe heard me but i have my lashes done and i have my nails done super super cute i didn't really show you guys this is the vibe for today, guys. Ah! 
bad part. You just have to be happy. I'm a crybaby, guys. You guys just have to be content with your life. I started just gaining and attracting everything I wanted. Once I was just content i've always been the type that's like i need this i need that i need this i need that this is where i want to be this is where i have to be i'm happy with how i look who i am how i act i'm happy with everything and it's okay because guess what there's always room for improvement just be content be content with life we have everything that we need as long as you're not starving as long as you have a roof over your head you are good and you are fine and the things that you think you don't have and you need they're gonna come to you just don't beg it because then the universe knows you don't have it so as long as you're just like okay with life and you're enjoying the journey then that's all you need to attract everything you want i do want to buy some last minute things i only have like three bathing suits and we're gonna be there for eight days so i need to buy some bathing suits for sure but let's just go shopping i'm at the mall already but i'm with my boyfriend he's here for emotional support so let's go shopping oh my this is super super cute the bottoms i don't know is that a vibe look at how cute this is but it contains dairy <laughs> this is <laughs> yum okay these are my cup of tea I want to show you guys something I'm very proud of. I went on a shopping spree. <laughs> Little thumbnail. Well, guys, I don't want to flex. It's not me flexing like money wise. This is more of a deeper level. I never really like spending money on myself or like buying clothes just because. Let me take off my, my jacket. My little. Let me tell you guys. A cheese me. I have a problem with being able to buy things for myself. I used to always label clothes like if I wore this I would be more like this is more mature. I never really saw like if I liked it or not I just saw if it made me look a certain way if this clothing product made me like a certain aesthetic I was just like mm, I'm not really it. I don't want to be it. I don't want to be classified as that I don't want to be perceived as that so I'm not gonna buy that product But I never even saw it as a I like this product just buy it And also I had to go out because because Seattle is always always cold even in the summer It's like cold and it's just like what's the point of having summer clothes when I'm freaking almost anemic and I'm always so cold But anyways, I want to give you guys a little haul of everything I bought. Okay, so I needed shoes. I have heels and like two pairs of sandals, but I'm gonna be there for eight days. So I just want a bunch of options, you know? But we have these very, very cute sandals. Basic, but everything I got is kind of basic. I'm such a girl that gets staple pieces and I'm just like, no girl, we gotta get basic pieces. I got these really cute swimsuits from Hollister. They were buy one, get another one, 50% off. Look at how cute it is. And it's like sparkly. I already have a brown one, but this one is sparkly and it's just so cute and I love the straps. I hope it fits me. And then I got this, the top in small. Look at the top. It's also sparkly. Ah, I'm excited to wear this. It like matches my hair. Then I got like the same swimsuit, kind of, kind of actually. I hope these fit me. These, I didn't even try them on. But this is also sparkly. I love it. Love it, love it. And the top is similar to the brown ones, but except it's like scrunchy i love the cup i love the wire i love when the swimsuit has a wire so now from american eagle i got these shorts they're super super cute and they're stretchable and they're like stretchy so i got these in size four usually i'm a size six but since these are like stretchy i it could work it worked these are booty shorts as well but not so much because it really makes sure that nothing is popping out unlike these this is what I'm so excited about. This is my favorite ever moisturizer. It's for dry skin, but they also have one for oily skin. I never used to break out when I had this. It's only $35. I never really came to um, want to buy myself this since like drugstore ones are $10, $12. And then it came with this free cleanser, which I need a cleanser. And then I got these. I wanted to get a shoe that's cute enough to go out but comfortable but i got these these are cute little heel to it a little bit not even a heel but like 
platform. That's what I mean. Okay, so now from Forever 21, I got this cute bag. Very cute, very cute. Then I got, like I said, a bunch of these are going to be basics now. The only thing is I didn't buy, like, dresses. That's what I was honestly looking for. So I got this tan. Tan top. It's so cute. Then I got this dress. It's, like, black. Everyone needs a black mini dress. And then I got this brown tank top. It's super, super cute. Like this with your shorts bomb outfit. And then I got this dress. It's like a um, sundress. Look how cute it is. It's like a long dress. The only thing is that I'm kind of short. I'm 5'4", and this just makes me kind of look even shorter. And then the last thing I got is this cute little tank top. So cute. Well, that's pretty much everything. I just realized I don't have any night clothes. I want to have a cute night attire, you know? I might have to go back to the mall tomorrow. I don't know why I always do this to myself, but I always end up last minute packing no matter what I do. My voice is raspy because I'm getting sick. And excuse my room is super messy right now. I don't even, I have to go to the mall. And I actually realized I have six hours to do everything. Six. Before I go to the mall, I want to pack everything. That's what we're going to do right now. So I like gathering everything before putting it in. Should I do it that way? Like, I really wish I was those people that can pack a week before and just have their luggage ready, right there, ready to go, but I can't. Something about that just does not sit right with me. What if I need something from there? Which I probably won't because this is all summer themed, but... Anyways, let me... I need to hurry up. This will look cute. Okay, so I put all the basic shirts like right here and shorts. But now I'm gonna go to the mall now. Literally just went to the mall for two hours to get this dress, one dress. It's cute, don't get me wrong, but I was just kind of looking for a two-piece. What I'm gonna have to do is, I bought this really cute two-piece, but I didn't really like it because it's a little too long on me, and things that are really long on me don't look the greatest because my calves are like really skinny, because my legs are really skinny in the end, and it's just like I'm curvy and I'm very skinny. So I only have four hours to be at the airport. Like I have to be at the airport in four hours. Also this really big bag is my clean clothes. <laughs> Literally loads and loads of underwear. So you never know what happens. You can pee poop your pants every single day. But just kidding. I think I think it's more so like whenever you go swimming and then you have underwear and then you want to take it off and then you want to change into a bikini and then you want to put on another underwear because you have to shower from this, you know? So you have to bring a lot. So this is how I pack <laughs> this cat ignore my cat. Why are you in here? I think she wants me to bring her. But anyway, <laughs> this is how I actually pack. I just literally throw everything that I'm gonna pack in here and then I, then I just like little by little fold it. But throwing everything like that, complicated things. I thought it was the fast way, but it's kind of me just like helping myself, reassuring myself that I have things for the trip. I was just at the mall and I was freaking out and I wanted to buy more stuff. I couldn't find anything else. I don't know why I went to the same shopping mall if I knew I couldn't find anything. I didn't find anything yesterday. It's not like they're gonna have a whole new shipment in just one day. I don't know how to fix all of this. Like, oh, so here are my shorts and my shirts. And then I kind of wanted this side to be like casual side and then this side to be like the not so casual side. Or maybe this can be like the daytime, I don't know. And then this can be like my bikinis and stuff. 
I'm not bringing that much clothes. Like, I think that's what's getting to me. So I went to Thailand, guys, like three years ago. I brought the same suitcase and it was empty. <laughs> It was empty and my boyfriend's mom, I remember she like grabbed it and she was like, why is it so light? And I was like, I don't, I didn't even bring that much stuff. And she was just like, how girl? And I brought like, I didn't even bring underwears because I was washing them and they were wet by the time we had to leave. And I was just like, I can't store them wet or they're going to get apestosos, you know, when they get um like moist for too long and they're gonna stink up all my clothes so i couldn't bring in i had to buy underwear over there and their underwear over there is super different it's like super small now i'm like traumatized by that and i want to overpack and i'm bringing this i'm bringing this really cute this really cute camera it turns on okay look it turns on like this it's so cute like let me show you guys some footage it died on me and then i never used it again last year so i still have a lot of room like look at this super cute we went on a picnic. My plan for this is to just film. It's just to film on this when I'm out and about. Okay guys, I'm done packing. This is like my day-to-day -day wear and in here is the bikinis and the cover-ups and my pajamas and then I have only one bra. Is that safe? Should I bring another bra? I'm gonna bring another bra. I think I'm gonna put in my carry-on bag all my like accessories. Okay guys, so I'm literally done packing with everything, but I have to go to the airport like ASAP. So here is my outfit, my airport outfit. I just did my toes. But anyways, I have to leave my house right now. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. My next video is going to be me in Tulum. So bye.